In today's video, we're going to be going over some basic lithium battery setups to help you be able to decide what is going to be better for you for maybe an off-grid shed or even if you're going to be hooking up to an RV and the power that you're going to need because is one big battery better or is it a better option to buy two smaller batteries that may actually have more power? As we go over the features and specifications of these batteries, this will help us understand a little bit more about the project that we're going to be building and need to power. As we take a look at the battery on the left, the EnjoyBot battery runs $489 and the SOK is $1,029. The battery on the left is 12 volts at 100 amp hours and the SOK is 12 volts at 206 amp hours. The EnjoyBot on the left will give us 1,280 watt hours of runtime approximately and over 2,600 for the SOK on the right. But both of them have a max discharge current of 100 amps and this is why we need to know the setup that we want to build because if you're running something that's going to need more than 100 amps, amps of current well this is where it gets a little bit tricky on the battery purchase that you may want to make because say you want to run an object such as like this inverter this inverter is a thousand watts and will draw 83.3 amps of power which both of these batteries can run and then joybot will be able to run it for about an hour and 15 minutes and the sok because it's much larger can run it for two hours and 30 minutes but say you want to run something much larger like if it happens to be in your rv and it has a 2000 watt inverter well, as we take a look at those battery options that we had earlier, neither one of these are going to be able to power the inverter at 2,000 watts. So even though this SOK battery has 206 amp hours and an impressive 2,600 watt hours, it still only has a max discharge current of 100 amps being able to run 1,000 watts but not this 2,000 watt inverter. So how can we run this? Well, one option is to run two batteries in parallel. You don't want to hook them up in series because that'll double our voltage. We want to hook them up in parallel to get more amperage out of it. And that'll be able to run this 2000 watt inverter. By taking the positive and the positive of those two batteries, we can double our amperage and also our output to be able to run higher objects like that 2000 watt inverter by simply connecting the positive and the positive. And all you need is a jumper cable like this. And so when you wire it, you'll basically take your main positive to the positive. The jumper cable will run over to the other side of the positive of this battery. And now this will give us the power of two for an impressive 2,560 watt hours and over 200 amps of max power to be able to run 167 amps on a 2,000 watt inverter. Or you can double up these two impressive batteries at over 5,700 watt hours of runtime and 200 amps max. But there are other options out there. If you wanted to grab one big battery at 200 amp hours like this or they even make a 300 amp hour battery like this but they are bigger they're still going to share the same 200 amps of max discharge so this will help you decide if you want one big battery or a couple small ones and if you need even more power you can actually hook up four of the SOKs in parallel or four of the enjoy bots in parallel to give you a 400 amp discharge rate so now you have even more options for the build that you want to do and I hope this short video helped you out let me know in the comments down below and check out the links in the description for all these batteries.